Hello guys, my name is Jason of Kageko and Associates. I'm here to demonstrate a quick fix, especially when somebody is fighting taxes for somebody with employment income and withholding income. So in front of me, I have a client who has employment income and they also have business income. And KRA withheld 6,600 in, in terms of uh, withholding tax. So most of the customers that I work with, they don't want to pay any taxes uh, to KRA. And therefore you want uh, your tax payable, the tax due to, to be zero. And the first thing that you need to ask yourself is uh, what are relevant expenses that you can claim? Once you know the relevant ex expenses that you can claim for that uh, particular person, then you can input the expenses. Mostly the clients I deal with, small clients, and therefore they don't have so big expenses. And most of the time I just use one line to claim their expenses. For example, for this customer I'm dealing with, I fighting for them, they, are, they had been paid some business income or consultancy income, they were doing training. So, and they earned 132,000. So when I input that, as you'll see, their taxes, their tax payable will go up by 33,000. Of course, what that means is that they need to pay tax on the 95% uh, of the income that was not taxed. And basically, because this is business income, they're paying uh, their tax at 30%. So what I usually do is to use a tool in Excel that is called what if analysis. So what if analysis is found in uh, the data menu of Excel and then under what if analysis, then there's goal seek. So what we are going to do here is to change the value in uh, cell C that you want, as you can see, this is row 31 in column C. So I'm going to change this reference to C31. Uh, I want it to be zero by changing one of the expense lines that I would choose. This customer is, is a lecturer and one of the most prevalent expenses for lecturers is uh, printing and stationery. So I use printing and stationery as the prevalent expense to claim uh, for this purpose. And once I uh, pick that cell, then I click OK. So what is happening here is Goldseek is trying to make cell C31 to be zero. And it tries, it makes like 100 uh, trials. And as you can see, we have already achieved our goal. And now the tax payable is zero. And quickly we can go back and see how much expenses we claimed. So as you can see here, our income is still 132, which is still the gross profit. And then we were able to claim 110 in terms of uh, expenses. And therefore, our ad goal of paying zero taxes is achieved. And uh, that happens, that we have achieved uh, the right amount of tax uh, that we wanted. So th this is a quick demonstration. Of course, uh, KRA requires you to itemize uh, those expenses. You're supposed to be able to demonstrate or prove, just in case you're audited by KRA, that uh, you really incurred those expenses. So j don't just go and input all the expenses in a single line. They need to be expenses that you can be able uh, to, to give proof of source documents to KRA, just in case you're audited. Thank you so much. In case you have any uh, question, please, on the comments below, you can ask me a question on Excel or tax filing. Thank you. Again, this is Jason of Kageko and Associates, where we are true and fair. Bye.